this video is sponsored by Sophie and Toffee's Elf's Box. Check the link in the description box below and get code NERDY3 for $3 off your first subscription box. When we think about sculpting, the last thing that come to our minds are soda and peanuts. Though now I kind of want a peanut. That was good. So as I was saying, <laughs> however, recently when I was browsing both on TikTok and Instagram, I came upon an amazing account by Steve Casino. But before we get into that, the different types of sculptures I've personally experimented with have always been with polymer clay. I've done different creatures and dragons. I've also done hybrid sculptures with plushies and polymer clay, but I've also used epoxy sculpt where I kind of get to modify different toys and turn them into to something else, more specifically my Little Pony series. If you're interested in any of these videos, I will link them down below. Oh, and of course, there was this one time I tried paper mache. That was that was quite interesting, very interesting. Oh yes, and cold porcelain. Holy carp, that's been a while. And then you have those of us that are on the extreme side, like my friend Jazza, who's done a sculpture with instant noodles and also experimented with vegetables. Jazza, don't ever change. <laughs> Now when it comes to Steve Casino's art, I absolutely adore it. Of course we're still using polymer clay in this case, but let's just go through some of the art that he has that involves soda cans. When it comes to Steve Casino's art, I absolutely adore it. The different materials he uses in order to integrate sculptures really has me absolutely excited to give them a try. Everything from soda cans to candy wrappers, even old school video game cartridges. So there was no way that this was presented to me on TikTok and that I was going to bypass it. I was like, I need to do it. Cause you know, we try things here. All this to say that today we're going to be attempting making a sculpture inside of a soda can. There's so many things that could go wrong while using a soda. Oh, I am shaking this. I'm probably going to write this later. Most likely. Not to mention using any kind of metal and it's sharp and it's, you know, cutting through it. There's potential for injury. Knowing myself, I probably need adult supervision. So all this to say, don't do this unless you're sure. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> Even though on this channel, I absolutely love Creatures of Darkness because it's my automatic default to go into monsters. I figured for this sculpture, I want to do a hybrid of something cute, but still in the theme of monsters, but cute. Because we're trying to be different. By the way, for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. I post videos twice a week on Tuesdays and Fridays. Don't forget to click on all notifications while you're there. Otherwise, I will 100% wave this sharp pointy thing at you. I sharpen it every night. And just to show you how serious I am about being cute. Well, not me, but the, the sculpture. Look, I have sprinkles. I've committed to sprinkles and cute little fruit slices. If that's not commitment, I don't know what is. So, proof. I don't know what that was. <laughs> So before we decide on the theme and color of our sculpture, we have to choose which one of these is going to be the one we're going to modify. Now, I don't want that responsibility on myself, so I asked both on Instagram and Twitter. I really should stop shaking these. <laughs> Because our choices are crush orange soda, which in different parts of the world, I guess could be comparable to a Fanta. And then we have two very popular brands between Pepsi and Coca-Cola. And last but not least, we do have Red Bull. I have to admit, I've never had a Red Bull before, so you might wanna try it for the first time. None of these companies here have sponsored this video, just being clear, not sponsored by any of these. But if they do wanna sponsor, I'm available. Hit me up. So on Instagram, I asked which one we should choose and let's see the results. Oh, that is a tight race between Coca-Cola and Crush. So I think the tiebreaker is going to have to be Twitter. Let's see what you grains voted. And on Twitter, okay, so it seems like Crush wins by a mile. And so? Crush, I would like to welcome you into the next sculpture by me. So first things first, when we look at the can, we can see immediately that the top part is slightly open. So it means that we will not puncture the can in order to release the soda. 
good to know. So we're going to open it ever so gently. Hopefully all that shaking I did. Let's take a look at that again. I'm probably going to write this later. Most likely. Hopefully it's calmed down by now. And if it didn't, I deserve it. Okay, gentle. Gentle. Oh, oh wow. That is quite the compression. Just the tiny smidgen. Oh, it's okay. Once we open it, we could probably push it out. So far, so good. I haven't had this in a long time. Mmm. Oh, sugary. Too sugary. Nope, now I know why I haven't had it for a while. No. Shameless plug, if you want your own Holy Carp merch, check the link down below. So I rinsed it out and it's as dry as I can get it. I kind of just put a napkin on top and just and shook the sugar out of it. But there's most likely still some liquid in there. So I still want the Crush logo to appear. But it's okay, I think, if we remove some of the H. So I'm going to start cutting over here. I hope I don't slip. By the way, I'm using a new blade. I definitely don't want to use something dull. So thank you, Vivi, for sending this to me. Okay, let's just gonna start here. This gonna work. Ooh, well, I don't know why I got scared. <laughs> okay, nice and gentle until we can take scissors. Oh, oh, oh no! Ah! <laughs> no, come on. Oh, that was a terrible sound. No, 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 I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, now that we've pierced through, let's see if we can use shears. Can we? <laughs> How does he make it seem so easy? Okay, I'm gonna go back to this. Okay, hang on. Let's look at the video really quickly. Okay, so he really does make it extremely jaggedy. So it's not a straight line. We don't want straight lines. We want dynamic cuts. Okay, okay. So let's try this. Oh my god. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. Does it go all the way down? Yes, it does. Why am I so scared? Okay, and I don't think it needs to be very big, so let me do a cut and we'll I'll, I'll get back to you grades. All right, so far so good, and as I expected, there is some liquid. I probably shouldn't have thrown that. There was a sharp pointy edge. I'll get it later. So I probably wouldn't recommend putting your finger in there to wipe it, just, you know, because you don't want to get cut. So I'm going to just do this. Probably should have used a paper towel, but I'm all out. There we go. I think we're good. And now I'm gonna put my finger in. Eee. Close this up just a little. Oh, look at that. Now it looks entirely closed. I could probably glue it if I wanted to. All right, so I think we have a good base. I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> Actually, looking back at this picture, it seems like a lot of the cut is towards the front. Whereas for me, a lot of the cut is too much on the side, so our monster won't show. So I'm gonna remove more towards the front. I have no idea if I butchered it, but here, here it is. As mentioned at the beginning of today's video, today we are sponsored by Sophie and Toffee's Elves Box. For those of you who don't know, the Elves Box is a monthly subscription box of resin type crafts. And not only are the themes absolutely adorable, but the boxes really work with each other. So if you subscribe with just one month, you might be missing out on more material that will supplement the previous materials. The boxes really do have perfect harmony. This box is especially amazing for those of you who've always wanted to dabble into resin crafting but have no idea where to start. And so the Elves Box curates really fun projects. They have two different kinds of boxes, the regular box, or if you really want to splurge, they have the premium box that adds four to five more items each month. And if you're a grain who doesn't always like surprises, they have sneak peeks on their website so you can kind of scroll down and say, show me sneaks. The theme for this month is tarot card. Let's make a mini tarot card. Let's start with resin, glow in the dark pigment, bloop bloop bloop, stir that stuff, and in ya go. Perfect. Off you go. Your reading today is The Magician. Yoink. Let's do the other side and do these cute little indents and turn them red. Let's get risque with some gold flakes. One, two, three, poof. And here's our simple, yet super cute, tarot card. Also, the tarot card's items can now be purchased on the Sophie and Toffee website. And the Kingdom Hearts sneak peek for the box is also available online for the Disney box. So what are you waiting for? Check the link in the description box below and get your first box as the Snow Globe photo frame and use the code NERDY3 for $3 off. Thank you, Sophie and Toffee, for sponsoring today's video. For this next part, if we look at his video, we can see that the inside is stuffed with aluminum foil. The only worry 
worry I have personally is that the aluminum foil won't be too compact and it might move, might distort my sculpture, or it might be too loosey-goosey. So I'm going to be taking epoxy glue. Hang on, what's it called? Epoxy glue, which is a part A, part B. Mix them together and just put it on the inside while shoving the aluminum foil in there. So it's just going to make it like a tighter bond, kind of like two best friends, I hope. Now I have no idea how this artist knows exactly the proportion to make his creature, but as I'm putting my polymer clay on the inside of the can, I feel like I'm probably going to end up having to paint some of the inside in black just because I can't make the entire thing the character because my character isn't like this blobby kind of person. Then again, I may have already messed up by making the hole way too big. And in order to get my clay stuck on the aluminum foil, I am using Super Skull. Now to make our creature, this is where it gets a little challenging because it's kind of a bulky character, but we have to make sure that it's not heavy. So of course I'm using aluminum foil to make the armature on the inside. And I need to remember that I only need to make half the body. I have to, I have to keep remembering that. Just to give your grains an idea, half my time making this sculpture is smoothing. So now that I want this to be kind of connected to the body, I'm going to kind of Hang on, I'm gonna do this, pinch it, put it in, and smooth. It's gonna take a while. Keep smoothing. I would say at least half my time was spent on smoothing ends and trying to get into those really tight spaces. This is by no means a project that's going to take you a couple of hours. Think of it as a couple of days. At this point, I really want to make the eyes, so I'm going to go ahead and customize them by making them with resin. That way it's the size I want. And I'm going to make it plain black. I find black eyes on monsters to actually accentuate on cuteness. Honestly, once I got the eyes on the head, I thought it was absolutely adorable. Oh my god. I really wanted to make a kind of cat smile, if that makes any sense. I, here, here's a picture of a cute little kitty cat anime smile. It's absolutely adorable. That's, that's basically basically what I was going for. I added two pieces of wire just to make sure that we, you know, have something to hold on to. If it falls, then we're just not lucky. Well, you know what? We're gonna have to do praying to the baking gods later on. And then one tiny part before we go on to the next section, I added a little tail. I think at this point, let's look at the video again. And before Steve puts any details kind of hanging out on the outside, he went ahead and did the edges that kind of look like torn pieces of metal. So for that, I'm just basically taking my clay adding a little bit of that liquid Sculpey to make sure that it does adhere. And I'm really trying to get into as many little nooks and crannies as possible. I'll be really honest, I did find making those jaggedy type looking edges to make them metallic kind of difficult to make, even though the ones on the video, if we look a little closer, kind of look like an intestine type pattern. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just, I'm just really struggling here. And at this point, it's all about adding the details. And of course, we're gonna add the arms, the little fin thing, kind of like ears. And it wouldn't be a creature unless I added horns somehow. <laughs> you, don't pretend like you didn't know. You you knew what was gonna happen. I said, look at me. You knew. Look, look into the windows of my soul. Yeah, it, it's not a creature unless, you know, horns. If your piece has too many lumps and bumps, go ahead and take some rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip and clean it up. You're going to be able to make it as smooth as you want it. And so here it is so far. I have no idea how this is going to work out in the oven, but let's do what we do best, which is pray to the baking gods, because sometimes they're not merciful and they're going to make it so that our creations break. So put your hands together and pray to the baking gods. Dear baking gods of Evermore, please protect my piece from cracks, burns, and fallen limbs. But also, it's the break of my stuff! Eventually. The baking gods have blessed us with this beautiful specimen. I was really nervous. I had I had a feeling something would break, or you know what? Let's just take the blessing we have and not talk about it. Let's not change. So now it's one of my favorite times. Yes, airbrushing. There are so many different ways I can take this piece. I could technically continue the green part of the crush can and make our creature a type of green, or I technically also could go with orange, but I really want a contrasting color, and what better to go with orange than blue? I know I know, purple would work too, but I wanna go with blue. Ever since I discovered airbrushing, trust me, I don't wanna do anything else. 
but the accent colors will 100% be the colors of the can. Let me know in the comment section below, what color would you have chosen for your creature? Also, I highly invite you grains to try your own creature out of a soda can. They even have the little soda can, so you can make them even smaller. No, this one, is it there? okay, hang on. Here's a normal size can. Here's a mega can. And here's the eevee ones, eeny beeny ones. And if you do make one, remember to hashtag Nerdy Crafter. I will feature them in a future video. when it came to the metallic outer area, but it actually seems like this paint was spot on. I was really happy because the only other color I had was this one and it's too dark. Now we're going to take it from absolutely adorable to ultra mega super adorable. Remember how I showed you grains the sprinkles and fruit slices? This is where it gets fun. I'm going to be using fabric paint just so that we can get a bit more texture right on top because remember we're turning this monster into a desserty sweet type creature that is coming out of a, an, or an, an orange drink. Please talk, 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 today. And I didn't want the cream to just be on the head so I went ahead and went uh, on the head and went ahead. Hang on, hang on, let me process language. On top of the head, so I went to another level and decided to do the same thing on the tail. Now all we have to do is wait overnight. The next day. And here is our tiny soda can dessert orangey water creature. I don't know what I was thinking. All I knew is that it is adorable. I don't... Cute, I can't even word. This project took way longer than I expected, so it looks like we're going to have to keep the peanut for another day. If you have recommendations of what I could sculpt with the peanuts or inside the peanuts, let me know in the comment section below. Also, let me know how did I do? Did I was, was I able to get the creature desserty type feel for the orange crush? And if not, also let me know how I could have improved. If you want to watch the previous crafty video, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a cashier trash, a review where I throw things. It in the trash. Make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.